The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid, and for joy over it he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and brought it. Today, a friend of mine was mocking the fact that I traveled to Chandrapur to attend an Orthodox church. This is a friend that I really respect. My whole spiritual journey was about finding the truth and not about anything else because I am a sinner. I was drawn to Christ because I am a sinner. And I was drawn to his true church because I am a sinner. And I believe that only the truth can help me. Not any half-truths or any pastor or group or anything else. I prefer the truth over friendships, family, caste, money or anything else in the world. I believe in orthodoxy because I am convinced that it is biblical, historical. It's the historical true faith that God revealed to his church. And the answers I was looking for concerning some sins and confusion about various issues regarding the doctrine were answered in orthodoxy. I've heard some friends of mine dismiss this and think that I read too many books or it was due to that intellectualism that I believed in orthodoxy. But it was never that way. I investigated things because I had real doubts. I know there are many like me who question because I even know some of some Christians who grew up going to church and who no longer have faith now but pretend in order to not upset their families. The way believers respond to someone who has questions is very negative and anyone who tries to delve deeper is seen as a fool or prideful as if obeying the biblical commands to search for the truth or to test all things as an evil thing to do. This needs to change. When you say you believe in the Bible, there is nothing wrong in finding out where it came from and who compiled this list of books we know as the Bible or whether if we have this complete Bible in the first place. Faith is not about sitting in a well and being self-content with what you have and labeling everyone else as defective because they ask questions. This applies also to those who leave the Christian faith without researching about it adequately. They switch from what they believe, being uninformed about their faith and focused on people. They switch from that into a com com comfortable narrative of the secular world which seems liberating in the beginning. I never believed because of people and never felt the Protestant faith and I never left the Protestant faith because of people. I still find them to be awesome and I always admire their love for Christ. What I disagree with is their doctrine or should I say doctrines because there are so many of them. If the Bible didn't talk about one faith, one body, and one baptism, I would not worry about it. But I found that ironically, it is the Bible that condemns a fall, uh, condemns as false, a multiplicity of faiths and diverse doctrines. And the magic formula of just saying, I just believe in the Bible, it does, does not allow one uh, to escape out of the fact, the fact of divisions and true unity in the world of Protestantism. I tried to ignore orthodoxy and its true teaching for 10 years before God let me to join the church. I prayed many times to be led to the truth and not be deceived and saw persistently my heart move towards orthodoxy, even if I resisted it. I really looked into various branches of Protestantism and I'm well aware of their differences and their teachings. I even looked at their arguments against orthodoxy. I used to believe many uns foolish, unscriptural things based on my own personal opinion. 
which were resolved and corrected by the blameless teaching of the fathers. They led me to a better understanding of the scripture, and now I am wholly convinced of the truth of the Christian faith. I'd rather be alone and be made fun of as a weak Christian than be following something that is only half true or that goes against the truth of God. I never started off with an intention to please the world, anyway. Knowing the truth has humbled all my pride and has proved all my ideas and perceptions of myself to be false. Orthodoxy doesn't pander to one's pride. There is nothing interesting in it for someone who wants to follow their own heart. Truth requires that you give up everything for the pearl of great price. If you have chosen you know, what is comfortable and easy for you, you have not chosen the truth. I'd rather be a sinner in need of repentance and the help of the church than someone who believes they are good for their faith and hence saved automatically in a sense, without living out the truth or being, or being purified. I still have hope in God that He will deliver me. May God have mercy on my soul in, in my walk, walk of repentance. Please pray for me, brothers and sisters. Please pray for me as sinner, because I really need your prayers. Thank you.